Hi, welcome to the Resources Roadhouse. I'm Wally Graham. I'm in Melbourne for the Melbourne League of the 2019 RIU Resources Roadshow. And I'm with JP Vargas de la Vega, who's Managing Director of Galan Lithium. Um, now, JP, there's, uh, g'day mate. There's um, pretty exciting times for Galan at the moment out at Candelas. You're just about to um, put the line under the, the maiden resource there. Um, can you tell us um, when that may be due and uh, where, what that's going to lead to? Okay, um, yep, we are working hard um, to deliver our maiden resource estimate. Uh, we expect to have that before the end of September, so not far away. So. Yeah, yep, yeah. <laughs> you've, you've got a few days for that, yeah. That's right, so working hard on that, uh, uh, we, we're on track. Yep. Uh, we're making sure that you know everything uh, is crossed, and, um, but uh, we are very excited about the prospect of that. And uh, most importantly, uh, right after then, we'll kick the pre-feasibility study. Yeah. So um, we we like to start doing um, further work to understand what can we do with um, the lithium at Candelas. Yep. And um, and interestingly, the the heat that we have have now in within Ombra Muerta, we have uh, tenements on the other side of the soft soft flat, uh, have yield spectacular spectacular results, um, which uh, we are very encouraged. And we now now need to start thinking. What can we start doing with what we find on the other end of um, the of Ombre Muerto, yeah. and see how can we put it all together? So yeah. it's really interesting. Oh, I mean, it, and it's a pretty good time to be uh, making such hits and such uh, you know, encountering such uh, discoveries out there because the lithium uh, market at the moment it's, uh, it, it's it's bubbling away quite nicely. Yeah, well, lithium market has has a bit of a um, hit. Um, we. Um, well, we are an explorer company, and we haven't stopped doing what we said we'll do. So, we having we're, we're doing our second target now, further north from um, um, from Patapila, which is uh, where we had our 713 meters intersect. Mm -hmm. That was um, yeah. Uh, yep. I um, encourage people to have a look at our announcement and see the grades. You know, uh, some section above 900 milligrams per liter. Um, that could be probably one of the highest one ever recorded in Argentina, and. So having said that, you know, the lithium market um, is two, it's a two-track sort of market. One where the lithium brine producers are all um, getting good, good prices. So if you put it into context, the price of lithium today, it's uh, twice, almost twice what it was yeah. six, seven, six years ago before the, um, oh, right. yeah, before yeah. The, um, the boom. So, so you're, you, you're doing it at the right yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah but uh, um, because the price is going down for such a high, there's a perception that uh, we are in a, in, a low, in a low market. So it's all about perception. If you look yep. five years ago, we are in a boom price, but uh, because it went up now, the perception is, is, is not great. But um, I think that comes because um, you got two main sources of lithium. Lithium brine that produces carbonate, and those are the healthy margins, and lithium concentrate that comes from Australia. And those are the ones that are, are experiencing a bit of a tough time because it's been uh, an oversupply of lithium carbonate, uh -huh. hence the price has been squeezed down and and that's where most of Australians here in the market so from our end on the brine sector um, we're very encouraged by what we've seen uh, we believe that we have the best project in Argentina yeah. and uh, we're looking forward to you know uh, put our resource statement out and and add more into it so it's so, great news and and like as you're saying like the the, the project in Argentina it's uh, yeah, a, a quite an interesting project and it got a little bit of a boost uh, just recently you, you appointed a, a new board member um, pretty much on the back of uh, how good the project is yes well we we I will describe that we had a gem of our director um, um, Daniel uh, Jimenez he's SX SQM he worked there for 28 years um, to ask his Mr. Lithium, he, yeah, he was responsible for selling lithium uh, worldwide. So um, he definitely knows the market and took like a month of due diligence from his side to, 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 say to, yes. join, yeah, to yeah. join us. And um, somebody of his caliber being in, in our project is not a coincidence. Yeah. You know, he sees the values that we, what we have, he sees the potential where we can go. And he's not in any other board in the, uh, at this stage. So yep. he could have gone work for the competition anyone else, but decided to join us. Um, I know Daniel personally, but um, that's not enough for someone to join you. You have to <laughs> have the yeah the fundamentals there, and 
and uh, Ombre Muerto Hassam and Galan Hassam too. Uh, he knows he's lithium and he's come to see you. Correct. Yeah, correct. All right. Well, obviously, uh, there's going to be a little bit of news. We'll, look, we'll be looking forward to seeing that uh, resource when it comes out next week or in the next few days, whenever uh, whenever September finishes. Yeah. Yeah. How can we always look at our watch when we're looking at a calendar? Ah, uh, because you got the date there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, but uh, once we've got that, uh, we'll be bringing it to you on the Resources Roadhouse and all the other news to come. JP, thanks, Greg. Good to see you. Cheers.